hi everyone uh, in this video we will see how we can quickly create a data frame for the testing uh, using PySpark uh, struct type and struct field and row classes let's see example from each of these one so mainly if you see PySpark, uh, PySpark we have the struct type and struct field classes used to specify the schema for the data frame uh, the syntax how we can use this uh, you have to use struct type uh, then you have to give the field names there and then we have to use for the struct field we have to define the name then the data type then we could decide whether it is a uh, define whether it is a nullable or nullable true or false so if you see the schema how we can define here is schema equal to uh, struct type and then you have to define all the struct fields what are the columns we want for in this example i mentioned column one comma data type comma nullable flag nullable flag similarly struct type the column two data type comma nullable flag like that you have to define this is how we define the schema using the start type and start fields so to import this one import this into our into our uh, module we have to use this uh, pyspark.sql types dot import either you can input everything or you can specifically uh, certain classes start type start field or like that you can define and mention at the top so either you can use as this or you can use uh, as a whole you can use this import star the next command I have defined uh, a schema with four columns a store location store ID store sales and store inventory and I have de how I defined is I am using the start type first then inside the start type I define all the start fields so this is how I have defined my schema my store location is of string type store ID is of integer type and store sales of float type and store inventory is of long type and I have defined a sample like a sample data here data equal to some I have sample data put over here then once I, once I have the schema and data, then I can create a data frame using spark.create data frame, passing the data as well as the schema, that uh, sample data as well as the schema to that. So when I'm displaying that data frame, then I'm going to print the schema of this one. So in this way, you can quickly, quickly create the data frame uh, instead of uh, uh, instead of like uh, you either have to uh, copy the files or somewhere from the local machine to your uh, system. Instead of that, you can directly put some sample data and create data frame and then start your testing. So this is what how it looks like. So I have a sample data here and I will create a schema at the top. So with the help of schema and the sample data, it's created data frame. So like this, it will going to create the data frame. And if you see my data frame uh, type, if you store like a string, integer, float and long. This is how we defined in our uh, schema. And if you go down, if you see further here, the if you define print schema, it just shows like this is the uh, if you if we have mentioned the label right the label is uh, true or false but here we do not define anything here by default it is taking everything as true it is nullable okay so in that way we can create a data frame and if you want to do more analysis on this data like for example we have loaded this data and if you want to do some uh, uh, analysis on the data to like to filter out when you need to record all those things if you are familiar with SQL then you can create quickly create a table on top of this one data frame and then you can do your analysis for example here I can create uh, using uh, create or replace temp view this is going to create a temporary table on top of this uh, schema like uh, with the help of this name store table test so if I run this one so this is going to create a temp table for me so this is now the temp table is created and if you want to run a query on this top of this one you can create a, uh, write a query on the select stuff like this so here you can do, put any VAT class here and if you want to do analysis on the data you quickly uh, 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 quickly you can do that uh, instead of writing multiple and uh, codes and into your uh, uh, Python so easily you can run a query and find filter out all these records so if you do want a more complex uh, written logic you can easily create a table and put a filter on top of it this is how we can create a, a data frame uh, using strut type and uh, uh, strut fields similarly we have, we have something called row classes with the help of that also we can create a data frames next we'll see the uh, creation data frame using PySpark row classes uh, we can uh, use this row class by importing this uh, by importing from PySpark SQL dot row and also this with the help of this row 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 class we can create a data frame we can create a row object by using either by named arguments or create uh, awesome row class uh, let's see how we can uh, 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 do this uh, first uh, to import this row class you have to use uh, this import statement from PySpark SQL import row then you define a row object a row equal to row of india common to three these are both are my uh, vari uh, variables like uh, both are my like kind of uh, hard coded values i'm going to print that value uh, row comma zero string of row comma one 
so this is going to print the value 1d and 1 to 3 these are like the value which i am passing to this uh, row next uh, if i want to uh, define in this case just i hard coded the values here and in case if i want to assign this to a per column name you can that also you can do for example here uh, row equal to row of country code equal to india and row code equal to 1 to 3 and print that one so in that case the values are being assigned to the uh, variable like, like this column name country code so the, at the top you just hard the value but then the second one we have assigned it to a column name again if you go to the next command uh, next command if you see here we can create a custom class custom class from row uh, here if you see here i have created a uh, custom class it's called country a row the row class like i'm using country name and country code here the is a kind of became uh, now the column names here if you see here this is my custom country custom class country and top of that i am going to create a row object using this country class so r1 comma equal country of india come on to three these are my like uh, values similarly row object r2 oh, equal to country of uk456 if you're going to print this value you're going to see this output as india come on to three and uk456 so in this way you can create a custom class from the row so now with the help of this row class how we can create data from that we'll see here now we have seen the topic of seeing the now we have seen the country uh, uh, custom class with the help of that class we with the help of this we gonna create a data frame here so now define a country equal to the same row of country comma in country code and then i'm going to create a data of one data one equal to i'm going to create uh, the list of uh, rows here like kind of uh, country country of india comma one, one two three comma and comma country okay, comma four five six we have the data now and if you see if i execute this one now the data has been like stored in this data variable and i'm going to create data frame using this data one spark data frame uh, spark dot create data frame data one display the data frame and i'm going to print the schema also let's see the output here now if you see here now data frame is created with the country name uh, country name country code as my uh, column names and you could see the output also india count to the 456 so with the help of uh, 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 Control also we can create data frame and also help of uh, this one uh, start type and start fields we can create data frame and also we can do a combination of both these both these uh, two and we create the data frame so that will be listed the below you see here I have created a schema that uses a start type start field I have defined a schema here using this one the row I am defining using row class I am defining the rows here India command to three and now I am creating data frame by passing this one row comma schema display frame. in this case also you can create a data frame so either you can use individually the classes to create data frame either start type and start fields or you can create a row uh, with the help of row class also create a data frame or with the help of combination of both the combination of these two will create a data frame so in this way we can create a data frame yeah so that's all i mean this is i mean this is very helpful when you want to create your own data frame for your testing quickly on a data frame otherwise you have to load the files from your local machine into the code and then you have to do all the analysis instead of that if you want to do some testing quickly you can create data frame on your own and then start your testing anyway that's for this video thanks for watching